Welcome everybody to the Escape TV stream. Today we have King of Osmain versus Taben. This will be a best of five series in the lower bracket or elimination bracket round five, whichever you want to call it. This will be the final game before one of these two players advances to the qualification series or match or whatever you want to call that as well, where they will meet Kanisi. So the winner of this series progresses forward to play Kanisi, and the winner of that series will qualify for the LAN. So this is a pretty big game, pretty late into this tournament. And because it's the lower bracket, only, only, yes, only one, only one person can survive. The other will be eliminated. Taben here, switching to Russia. I asked the players to hold off on their civilization picks so that we could see them live. Uh, but for now, you get to see my beautiful face instead. But uh, yes, it will be British versus Russia by the looks of it, unless King of Osmain uh, wants to change and indeed does not like this matchup. I could see him changing here. I think that's sort of perfectly acceptable to do, and I think he'll consider that. But uh, I am joined by the one and only Kaiser Klein. Welcome, Kaiser. Yeah, indeed. And uh, this could this should be a pretty good series, I think. Um, Tavon might be considered the favorite, maybe, because he's been playing really well recently. But uh, Osman has maybe more tournament experience. He's been around for... A bit longer time and he's a very solid player too so we should have something really nice to watch here i think yeah tabin has been playing really well and look at that just greening in he's saying i'm i'm gonna play russia what are you gonna do no he's ungreening now king of osman by the looks of it needs a couple of minutes uh whatever it is to do perhaps check his decks think about a sieve maybe wants to grab some water this will be uh potentially quite a long series as guys are saying both players very evenly matched and uh we're probably uh, in for a good one so by all means take a couple of minutes before we start and uh, if you are a viewer by all means do that too grab a sandwich get settled in all of these things a couple of shout outs thank you very much to uh, samwise for the the raid i hope the stream went well nice to see you playing again oh samwise was streaming that's that's nice yeah, I've already been told by Jim multiple times that we need to get that up on the uh, Age of Streaming community channel. So uh, <laughs> I don't think that's what Sam had in mind when he turned his stream on being all rusty and what have you, but uh, it, <laughs> it might end up on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, I don't know when was the last time I, I've seen Samwise actually online. Uh, it's pretty exciting to see that he's back. Yeah, he seems to be uh, playing a bunch of team games. I saw him playing with Hazza on uh, his stream as well. So Samwise is about. Maybe he'll come to the LAN. That would be pretty cool. Ryan will be here. And uh, yeah, lots yeah, of other that's... people as well. It'll be a, a good experience. It's it's pretty exciting, yeah. Oh my god, it's soon o'clock. Yes, that's right, Vividly Plain. It is soon o'clock. Soon o'clock has... Come, we are ready to start. King of Osmain versus Taben. And uh, I suppose I'll intro the video once we actually begin. But I do like to have that clear start point. People already getting their, their votes in the chat there. We'll be, we'll be running, possibly running betting. I hope so. I'd like to see what the chat thinks. But uh, lots of support for Taben here. By the looks of it, most people think Taben will win either by 3-0 or perhaps 3-1. I think it will be closer than that, though. I saw King of Osmain's games, and he's been doing quite well in the tournament so far as well. Or do you, yeah. do you disagree? Perhaps you think it will be closer or less close than I'm saying. Perhaps it will be 3-0. Mm, no, I, I don't think it's going to be a sweep. And uh, no, I, I think it's going to be quite close, but it, it's very hard to, to tell, honestly. Yeah. There were some really, really cool games. King of Osmain versus Jeremuno. That was like perhaps one of the most balanced and evenly matched German versus France games I've seen in a long time. Uh, it came down to a big villager fight once all the resources had ran out versus Jeremuno. Did you catch that one? Uh, yeah, I think I did. It was a pretty good series. But uh, it, it was, I mean, the, the games were close, but uh, it was a 3-0 sweep, right? It was. The games were close, but you are right. It was a 3-0 yeah. in the end. Yeah. Um, I, I think Osman is, um, 
he's he had a history of not performing very well yes. in tournaments, but recently I think he improved uh, in tourneys. Um, so, considering that Taben, on the other hand, is in my opinion not like I, I've never seen Taben play his real level in tournament. He's almost always playing worse than he does. Like for example, against me in a casual game. Uh, he's playing really well, and and then I just watch him play in tournament. And it's like it's another player, really. I feel like Taban is not comfortable with tournaments at all. So I yeah. really, I really don't think we should expect a very one-sided uh, series here. I think I think Osman has a very solid shot at winning this, and he's right. been he's been practicing a lot recently as well. So um, should be should be a really good series, I think. Are you ready? All right, then. Looks like we're ready to start. So, um, welcome, everybody, to King of Osmain versus Tabin. This is a best of five series for the lower bracket round five. The winner of this series will go forward and play against Kinesi, and the winner of that series will qualify for the land. So, big series today, uh, playing for the right to play in the qualifier. And uh, we've been talking just before uh, the game started about how these two players sort of very, very evenly matched Tabin, very strong player. King of Osmain had a very good tournament performance so far as well. And we're looking to see a really even series here. I don't have a casting UI because I was fucking hell. Oh, rip. <laughs> yeah, a bit upset about the 300 would start. Because obviously it's much better for Brits and for Russia, so Osman not too pleased about it, but well. I mean, it's random anyway, right? So. Uh, yeah, so, he, yeah, it is random. I mean, it's not like he's entitled to getting 300 wood anyway, but it, it is for sure a little bit frustrating. Uh, are you there? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you sort of randomly cut out. It sounded a bit, a bit funky. Classy, oh. yeah. That was a that was a classy start. I'm really looking forward to the next iteration of EP, where you don't need to have the UI installed. It just automatically launches the UI if you're playing an OBS game. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Just like when you think about how it was already a couple of years ago, where we had to sometimes wait for ten minutes, then that all the players would get the map. You know, like the uh, custom map. Oh like god, that was even worse. Casters. Yeah, yeah, and now now you just you just go in the game and green up. Like it's so easy, and, and if we even don't have to install the UI, it's really really comfortable. Yeah, really good job, I think. I remember. Yeah, but I'm gonna re redo the intro. Okay. All right, All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to game number one in a best of five series between King of Osmain and Tabern. This is the lower racket, lower racket, yes, lower bracket. Round five, or the elimination bracket round five, whatever you want to call it. The winner of this series will progress through and play against Kinesi. So both players here fighting for their right to play in the qualifier, because if they win this game, they play against Kinesi, and the winner of that game will come to the LAN. So this is a big match, and we're expecting uh, quite an even series here. Both these players very, very strong. Let's start with King of Osmain in the north of the map. And uh, I think we ought to address this incredibly fast uh, movement speed real quick. Let's just do that. There we are. And that's back to normal. Absolutely. King of Osmain in the north of the map in the color blue playing as the British on Florida here. Going to pick himself up 40 wood. And uh, with the coin start, has a market. Uh, can do what he likes with the market. That's really, really nice. And the 40 wood going to be really, really helpful. But Ka Taben also a very, very strong player. And I feel like I keep saying that at the start of every series, but it truly is the case <laughs> now that we're in these later stages of the event. Both players really, really good. And it's hard to say which way this could go. But uh, British going to start with uh, a trading post, actually, instead of uh, manor houses and uh, all of those good things. Not going to be getting hunting dogs either. Is gathering wood currently. Uh, did I say this is Tabin? This is King of Osmain, pardon me, going for a trading post. I think I got the players mixed up, but uh, such is the way of things. At least we address that. He's but, gonna uh, he's gonna pick up this small coin treasure there and just buy one hundred wood for his mana. Although 
well, it's only 10 coins, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, uh, he, he's just going to buy for the manor house here. So that's the special thing on, on this map, Florida. You can pretty much do the same thing if you have... I mean, a, a coin start is almost equivalent to a wood start since you can buy some wood. So he decided to just go for the trading post and base, okay. which is interesting. Uh, we might see some Virginia Company play, but it might just be... Might just be a trading post, right? He yeah. doesn't have to ship something uh, after three wheels, but we'll see what he does. Uh, Tavin did get hunting dogs. Uh, looks like he chopped 50 wood, which is not ideal as Russia, but it's it's definitely okay when you start with a market for sure. Uh, I don't think he's going to delay his age up by, by too much here. Yeah, should be okay then by the sounds of it. But that's another interesting thing, right? The wood, the crate start, whether you get 300 wood or 200 wood, when you start with a market, it matters a lot less, which is kind of why I like Florida, and, it, and that's sort of why it became the final map in the pool, as well as just being a really nice-looking map and uh, fitting the water criteria that we were looking for as well. So uh, that does mitigate the fact that Osmain, you know, was complaining earlier. But, uh, yeah, such is the way of things. Looks like Taben going to pick himself up 75 wood in the middle of the map. Let's compare the treasures thus far. Taben also getting 100 food... And uh, this is just going to oh. give him a really insane age one. And he got 50 wood, two, two small wood treasures. So, in fact, he didn't need to, to chop anything. So he's going to have a very, very smooth age up here. Uh, he's got hunting dogs. He's got, like, hunting dogs for free, basically, and 100 food on top of it. So I think Taban is going to be able to age up really early, while Osman going for the trading post is slowing down... Um, his age up a little bit he's gonna go for 17 age up which is a slower kind of age up for uh brits so um there might be it, it might make it quite a bit easier for Taban to be aggressive in early colonial well because of the because of the trading post yeah it might slow him down but uh yeah. Osman, he's done a good job of collecting sheep i wonder if he can eat some of them to mitigate that uh, it looks like he's just going to hold on to them but uh, yeah, he's coming out ahead on sheep, which is at least good for him in that regard, since uh, since Tavin did really do quite so well on, on the treasures. But age one is now out the way. Both players going up to the next stage. Let's just switch on over to shipment sent so that we can see that progress. But uh, Tavin coming forward now with two villages. Blockhouse is going to go down on the front. And it uh, looks like we will see King of Osmain be, uh, un be, be under pressure. Yeah, for sure. And um, usually in this matchup, you expect Brits to be aging up a little bit before Russia, and here it's the opposite. So it's already a little bit tough to defend uh, to defend the Russia as Brits sometimes. So here it might be even slightly harder. And we do, of course, have the uh, forward blockhouse coming in. So yeah, uh, we we'll have to see if Osman can can defend that early pressure. But if he can then having the trading post might be really, really nice yeah. because uh, he will he will have maybe some stronger timings to break the uh, Russian blockhouse, like just getting more shipments in before you push out and, and, and get this blockhouse down. So yeah. we'll have to see. And look at this. He's, he's seeing oh. the blockhouse with his scouts and they're going to add in uh, a wall here just to make it a little bit more awkward aging up with the tower that's going to go down just behind the wall and indeed uh, it has placed two manor houses sort of out on the side giving him a uh, full vision and uh, near this sort of pronghorn herd he's also got turkeys and uh, this herd of pronghorn as well underneath his town center so i think osman actually you know quite prepared for a rush here oh. but the villager gonna take some damage and that wall being sort of low hp is going to affect the other wall uh, no, it's nah, not. yeah, he, he attacked the wrong one. Like here, you have to be sieging the full HP wall just next to the the not constructed one, uh, because then there's a glitch and and uh, uh. all the walls would get like super low HP. And he didn't abuse that. So so the wall of Osman is still mostly up, and he will probably able, be able to to um, fix this gap a little bit later. But yeah. now the Cossacks are trying to do some damage, not killing any villager, and the tower does get some shots all the time. Also one, a little bit too greedy from Osman here, just losing one villager. Uh, but still, like, the tower is doing lots of damage against Cap. We see extra multiplayer. Not a very yeah. good batch popping here, though. No, just two musks might be enough. not doing too much work, are they? Uh, but it does look like the two oh. musks, they've now gone down. And if we compare units lost, he traded a villager off uh, five musks and three... Cossacks and a bunch of idle time, I suppose. But now Russia now coming in with five more 
uh, musketeers here uh, and doing a lot of damage but he is also taking a lot of damage that outpost in the tower you know outputting quite a lot but in return is idling 18 vils yeah he is that's sure that's for sure um i don't know it, it's it's hard to say oh he's gonna lose another bill here that's a bit sloppy really because he, he does have villagers right under his tc which is really nice so he should be able to just like not lose bills but uh well happens right so that i think that's pretty good for russia i mean he, he probably did enough damage here to just follow up now with a little bit more of a greedy shipment 700 wood from russia uh, gonna be able to maybe get his uh, market upgrades. I don't know if he has still traps already. Uh, Russia, I mean. Uh, oh yeah, he does. So that's pretty good for him. It's a very important upgrade for Russia. Uh, and maybe we're gonna see a second block house or maybe a stable, something like that from from Russia. Some trading post would be nice, actually. I'm not sure what he's gonna do with his wood if he doesn't build a TP or something, because. Uh, Tabin has 700 wood stacked right now. So. Oh dear, that Cossack is going to find a couple of bills. Oh. Uh, he's going to lose one there as well. This is really nice for, for King of Osmain, pardon me, for Tabin. He's found a lot of villages. I think he's going to be quite pleased with that. Units lost, he's killed three uh, thus far. I don't think this one will be caught. That is going to get away there. Let's see what he does do with the wood, as you were saying about. So some houses coming down. He's gotten a second block house, which I assume must have came from, oh, the, yeah. from the 700 wood. And uh, he's already said, got his steel traps. As you mentioned, perhaps placer mines will come in. Where is his explorer at? I don't um, know is the answer. It's certainly not, not sure, at the trading post, which is the important thing, I don't thing, think he's going to get placer mines, actually. Because he's probably going to ship 700 gold now. Looking at, at his macro, he's got almost no wheels and coins. So I think we're going to see just like 700 gold for a big musketeer spam or something like that. Yeah, but King of Osmain, look at that. The shipment's really starting to stack up now. <clears throat> Currently two villages, oh, pardon me, two shipments ahead. Uh, but I'm sure yeah. King of Osmain uh, does have something on the way. 700 coin you mentioned. But Taben, uh, just preparing for his next timing, whether that's an age up or... Looks like he's... Uh, let's go to units in queue. Okay, so going to go with 13 oh, okay. strelets. It is, it is, and a batch of strelets coming as well. So coming in for another push. That's his plan here. And uh, let's see if he can get much damage done. The wall is a little bit awkward, but uh, King of Osmain does have a standing army of muskets, but there's a lot of strelets here. And yeah. uh, no he sta stable. Oh, there is a stable though. with Hussar and if Q. If you can pop like five Huss, then he's okay to hold that, I think. With five Huss and Minutemen, it's, it's scary enough maybe for Russia to just have to go back. But without Hussars, he's pretty much dead. Like, he needs Hussars now. Like, if he doesn't, if he doesn't get five out, he's dead, probably. Yeah. This so could be, it's going to be very hard for, for Osman here. He's going to need them very soon. Villagers sort of coming out. So many vills going down. Two more there. Going to be chasing the musketeers. But the two hussars, which is, I think, uh, not enough. Yeah. And these musketeers yeah. going to find themselves being chased across the map and getting stuck. At least, though, the pressure is no longer in his base. They're chasing down those musketeers. But these musks will eventually get caught. He's going to leave them for the time being. So they are free. Now coming back into the base here. 700 coin does come out. But, and that's going to help with production, but I don't know if he's going to have enough food to really use that coin effectively. I wonder yeah. if longbows or something would have been better. Russia now coming in. Another villager going down. Let's switch to units lost. Nine villagers have been killed but of the British. Yeah. This game is really over at this point. Russia has basically the same eco. Uh, and, and just like much, much, much more military and a much better unit composition as well with the straight edge. So, uh, I don't, I'm not sure what, what Brits can do at this point. He's going to try to go in. He, it's now or never. Tabin is not really paying attention right now, but now he's uh, he is paying attention now. Minutemen coming in, but I don't think these hassles are going to last long enough to clean up the street ads. So, uh, at the end of the day, Tabin is just going to come out on top easily here. And Osman is even going back. So, now he called Minutemen, but but he can't fight it, so he's going back, so it's just really awkward, and and I think we're going to see a GG pretty soon. Yeah, and with 10 villagers lost, it's I don't think you can, even if he does somehow survive this, you just don't have the follow-up as British. You just don't have that strong eco, which you would usually have. Switch back to yeah. military units here, and you can see 40 strelets against 15 masks. The GG is going to be called, and Tabin going to pick up the first game here. A very quick game from him 
King of Osmain not quite able to handle it, losing a few too many vills, missing a important cav batch, and uh, isn't able to hold the pressure. Tabin quick, picks up a quick victory. Yeah, the trading post was questionable, I think. I mean, it's nice, but Braids don't really need it. And he, like against Russia, you expect to be pressured really hard early on. And I don't think it was maybe the greatest move by, by Osman here, just going for that TP, maybe just getting his hunting dogs in one mano and just edging up like really early would have been would have been better at the end of the day because imagine instead of these two masks at start that uh, that Osman popped, he could have got five and earlier if he just if he just aged faster because he wouldn't be idled so much. I mean he would be able to make units before getting idled by Russia. Uh, so yeah, th this late age just hurt Osman a lot. He didn't have units for a very long time. Then he shipped six, which was maybe an overreaction by the way and just ended up having like nothing that's all like he, he just had nothing no military not not enough so yeah yeah not a bit a, of not... an unfortunate game here for osman maybe yeah kind of unfortunate happen again but tabin will be pleased that's the first victory here this is a best of five though but uh, before we get into the next one let's take a look at the highlights from this game because then there's a glitch and and uh, ah. all the walls would get like super low hp and he didn't abuse that so so the wall of Osman is still mostly up, and he will probably ab be able to to um, fix this gap a little bit later. But yeah. now the Cossacks are trying to do some damage, not killing any villager, and the tower does get some shots all oh. the time. Also, one a little bit too greedy from Osman here, just losing one villager. Uh, but still, like the tower is doing lots of damage against Cap. We see extra multiplayer. Not a very yeah. good batch popping here, though. No, just two must be and... enough. Not doing too much work, are they? But the two hussars, which is I think uh, not enough, yeah. and these musketeers yeah. gonna find themselves being chased across the map and getting stuck. At least though, the pressure is no longer in his base. They're chasing down those musketeers, but these musks will eventually get caught. He's gonna leave them for the time being, so they are free now. Coming back into the base. All right, welcome back, everybody. Looks like uh, game number one, quite an easy pick up for Taben there. But he does now have to pick first, and has elected to go with Germany on the next map, which is Kamchatka. So King of Osman gets the counter pick. Let's see what he elects to go for. What is King of Osman's civ pool like then? Uh, well, his main civ is easily Japanese. Ah, uh, uh, yes, I actually, the Yumi I W actually, clan. Uh, yeah, right, <laughs> exactly. And uh, I, I used to play with King of Osman and Vanilla. Um, like maybe four or five years ago and I remember then he was mostly an auto player and also friends but he's not been playing them that much recently but he definitely still it's definitely one of his main sieves so I would say uh, friends auto and and Japs uh, but he can play also lots of India and must sieves really maybe not he can't play them as good as Japs, for example, but he can play Mastiffs. Mm. Okay, Germany seems like a pretty good pick then, if you know that about King of Osmain. So, sorry, come again? Germany seems like a fine pick from Tabin. Yeah, uh, yeah, it is. It's like Germany's not. Um, oh. There, there's no real reason to be Germany on, on this kind of map. I mean, yeah, it, it is the a typical semi-FF map, let's say. It's not like it's not like he picks Germany because there's like livestock or wood treasures, you know. Uh, it's just it's just like Germany does well against anything you will pick there. Just like you would also pick Germany on high plains, even if you're not gonna take the TP line, just because Germany does well against the other sieves that you would pick on high plains ready? for the TP line. Yes. So yeah, here it's just a solid first pick basically, and yeah. um, Japan coming out though. Versus yeah, that's Germany. definitely uh, his his best pick here, I guess. All right, let's see how it goes. I'm sure we'll see Yumi's and Walls, as the clan tag might suggest. And uh, Kamchatka, right. quite a reasonable map to be walling on. There's lots of sort of natural barriers there. And he'll have a bit of an advantage yeah. in that early game. You said Taben just picking Germany because, you know, it's good against most things, not because of the livestock. But here there are livestock, so I think with the two scouts, 
Japan going to have a, a good time finding them. And that's going right, to give a nice yeah. bonus to his shrines as well. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, uh, this is a good Japan map because there's no real stagecoach potential. There's uh, good wood treasures. Like, usually you get a 90 wood and like a 50 wood maybe. Uh, there's livestock. There's lots of hunts on the map, which is good to shrine. Uh, so, yeah, there's lots of good things for Japan, but it's just... It's just a decent matchup for Germany, for sure. Yeah. Here we go, though. It will be game number two in a best-of-five series between King of Osmain and Taben. The winner plays Kanisi. The loser is eliminated. This map will be Kamchatka. And, uh... None of those, by the way. But uh, yes, spawning in the south of the map, in the color blue, we do have Taben playing as the Germans. Scout heading straight to the middle of the map here. Uh, Wicked Cossack, Albo has given a gift sub subscription to. Uh, congratulations, Cossack, you have been chosen. You can now spam AoE Will in the chat. Uh, not going to be building a trading post. I'm not sure what the, it's 100 coin start, so that's why. Instead, going to get straight to the center of the map here. And he's pretty quick on the ball. But so is King of Osmain. Uh, treasure up for contention. 40 wood there. I'm just going to go and crack shot it and pick it up. Yeah, and, uh, Osmain may be uh, a little bit sloppy here. Because you can expect your opponent to be in the middle of the map at this point. So you should probably stay next to the treasure and not, not do that. Um, also, this coin start is just quite good for Germany. Uh, because especially with the 40 wood now, he's going to have a, a rather easy time getting a market and hunting dogs while Japan is really not going to do anything with that coin. Um, he's starting finally to chop some wood for the market. Um, yeah. So that's going to be, I mean, for hunting dogs. So that, oh, but he had 50 wood in base. Uh, usually you would at least crack shot that just to use your, your crack shot, right? And, and then, then go out on the map. Uh, but he's... He's not gonna. He's not gonna buy wood. Actually, Taven is gonna chop another fifty wood and use the fifty wood he has in base to get the house up. Nah. So that is um, that is pretty nice. He's got ninety wood overall. So yeah, that works out. A good market. Yeah, that works out just fine. And hunting dogs coming in there. Text uh, text complete. Let's see when it came in at one minute thirty two. So nice and early, definitely on time. Uh, also, a shout out to give you anxiety. Thank you for the subscription. But uh, so far, in terms of the goats, and this is to be expected, King of Osmain doing really, really nicely. He's got seven uh, thus far, but it uh, looks like there's oh, one, yeah. I think, just in line of sight, yeah, for Tab, and he's going to go back for that now, which could give uh, Osmain a little bit of a head start on this one down here. Also a 90, uh, pardon me, 85 wood treasure, yeah. which uh, looks like it's going to be a hot point in this age one. And it uh, looks like that idle time from this monk means the blue explorer might get the sheep as well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I, it feels like Osman is baiting Tavern to go in. Like, he's just waiting for him to start the treasure, and then he's going to steal it, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, he could have at least taken the goat. But maybe not taking the goat is really a good bait, because then your opponent thinks you didn't scout it. Ah, he just that's... needs to be careful now. Now he can't convert the goat, right? Because uh, if but he takes yeah. the goat, Oh, no. It. Yeah, that's uh... right. That would be such a good bait. But the goat is given the game away. And uh, King of Osman being really careful here, keeping uh, Tabin, pardon me, keeping one line really far away. Oh. Going to go for the crack shot. Looks like Blue, I think, was oh. just in there first. Yeah, uh... Tabin going to grab that. Oh, yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, but now he's really low HP, and even Japanese monks could kill it if he tries to go for a trading post, I think. Yeah. Uh, but, well, yeah, so tavern has got, like, 180 wood in H1, which is absolutely huge. But, but Japan did get almost uh, all the goats. All, every <laughs> kind of single one of them. Little... Look at this, nine. That's going to be insane for, well, your yeah. shrine or, I mean, it would be fine on any shrine, right? Uh, but Heavenly Kami and indeed the uh, Portuguese consulate now, the Toshogu Shrine coming down as well. Looks like King of Osmain going to be going for that really, uh, that really greedy Japanese style. Yeah, the good old Japanese build. 
which is nowadays not really used too much, especially on the coin start. Uh, so to make up for that, Osman is setting four villagers on his wonder, uh, trying to age up at a decent time despite clicking up really late. Uh, and uh, he's going to have to scout a lot, I think, because Germany, it's a kind of matchup where you, you can see lots of different strats. Like Germany can start with infantry, some crossbow stuff, or he can just go naked FF or some my FF or something like that. So um, we'll, we'll have to see what Tavern does. It does not look like any kind of crossbow pike play. He's got the 125 wood kind of in bank, so he's going to get his seal traps quite soon. He's actually researching steel traps just now. And researching steel traps before building a military building probably means that he's actually not going to build a military building. Usually you want to wait uh, and, and, and build like your, your stable or your barracks or whatever. So in my opinion, Taban is going for a naked FF here. Uh, probably three set of wagons, 700 wood. Just This might just be a remake of uh, my game against Kinesi on the same map, if you remember. Yeah, I do remember. So, like walls and, and stuff, and, and Germany just going naked FF. Yeah, not going to be caring about the walls, just going to go straight up. Uh, perhaps we'll even see that forward tower like you did as well, just to be uh, super greedy. But yeah, no forward, or not greedy, super fast. No forward building, though. And going to be starting with three settler wagons. Has got his steel traps and placer mines in. Though the two Ulans that you get for free, of course, going to go out on the map and see what they can get done. But they're going to be, uh, they're going to, has the scout been trapped? No. I thought... No. no. That would... But it's been denying some walls. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can see that. Yeah, they've... you sort of had to place yeah. them. And it's not quite... It's still a bit awkward yeah. and, not, and not really finished. But are these these Ulans are splitting up. One going, getting ready to go up on the top side, and Tabman also going, placing one on the bottom side here. Yeah, trying to deny the shrines, which is nice. Um... Not sure if it's actually better to send your Ulans into Japanese base or to deny the shrines. I feel like you can go like one or two times with your two Ulans, try to get some damage and then spread them on the map. Because uh, here, for example, Osman is building a barracks. He was building a market earlier and this was even in line of sight of his explorer. So if you bring your two Ulans, you can try to deny these buildings. Uh, but anyway, he's he's doing a good job at trying to deny the shrines, and you can see here he might he might get these uh, or maybe not. Okay, looks like looks like Tavern is gonna go, go away from that hand just as Osman comes to build. So <laughs> a little bit awkward. <laughs> yeah, a bit lucky here for Osman. Yeah, but Tavern has now clicked up. He's just gathered all the resources. Uh, going to be skipping 700 coin, just naked FF off the three vills here. And now we're seeing the uh, forward vill come out. Settler Wagon is yeah. uh, coming forward. And uh, he's gathering with four on wood and continuing to do so. So let's see if he places an outpost. 700 wood coming down, uh, and that's going to yeah, be for houses as well. He, he does have 250 wood bangs, so it does look like an outpost. So he's basically stealing my strat. That's, that's not okay. <laughs> It's not yours anymore. No, it's out in the open. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> the, yeah. Well, but the the one difference from what I did and uh, between what I did and what he does is that he doesn't have a trading post, a second trading post. I mean, and he might he doesn't have a shipment ready because of that. I think it's a mistake. Uh, you kind of usually, I mean, what do you do with your extra two hundred wood in H in H two? Uh, but let's talk about the fact that yeah, Osman is just killing a couple Ulans here. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, if, if you, what, what do you do with your 400 wood age up? Like, you just build two houses, and then what? What do you do with your wood if you don't build a second trading post anyway? Uh, so, and, and now he doesn't have a shipment ready, only shipping it now. So a little bit slower from, from Tavern here than what I did, but it's still going to be a nice pressure for sure. Yeah. And that barracks, oh, and a stable, okay. Oh, that's another difference, yeah. I'm not sure he's going to be able to really make units from two buildings since he's, uh, he doesn't have tons of pop space. No, and no villagers on wood either. So I wonder if he's going for a thousand wood, but that doesn't seem to make sense having a forward outpost. Uh, but he's nah, currently... he has to be shipping. He's shipping something. He's got lots of pop yeah, taken. Eight now, so... okay. Yeah, that's, that's very classic here. Uh, I guess he's hoping to trade right. off some units and then... 
Maybe that's why those Ulans... Surely not. He was, like, losing a couple of Ulans earlier. But, yeah, he's got... Maybe he's going to buy wood or something. I guess it's still kind of cheap at this point in the game. But now coming in, and maybe he'll lose some units here to the TC fire, which will free up some space. Uh, but he's going to quickly destroy this wall. And now is into the... Japanese players base here those villages. Let's see if this game King of Osman can control them a bit better last time He lost quite a number of villages and this time losing two three already oh. and uh, they're going around the market This is not ideal, but the Japanese musketeers coming in oh. now. Yeah, and a batch he, of Naginata that, That's uh, a, that's a nice trap from 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 Osman and there's no real anti-cap here on these Yulans But he needs to send his Nagis on top of the skirms and not not on the Yulans here. Yeah, Trying to do he that has now. enough anti calf to deal with Yolan, so he needs to focus his calf on the skirmishers. Because now he's just let all the skirms get away. Like this could have been much better for for Osman, I think. He could have yeah. cleaned up maybe. What do you but... think of losing the vills though? Was that a bait just to keep Tabin interested and like keep him in the right spot so that the units could all appear at once? Like sacrificing a few vills to try and get uh, bait him in there. Uh, it didn't seem uh, to work out. The skirms got away. But I, actually, I think it's more like. Uh, he got caught there, and he had to t to to start a fight. He didn't want to lose all his wheels, so it's it's not like a bait. It's more like, well, uh, I'm gonna lose my wheels. I need to fight, and that's why Austin uh, started fighting, I think. But oh, clubs getting away barely. Uh, a few more wagons from Tavern, so getting a nice three-unit composition here. But Japan, c can you actually click on the uh, recalculated uh, economy? Because oh, I wonder. Oh yeah. Pardon me, I should Japan do that. Really, yeah, he's quite a bit ahead in eco. So if he like, so far he he's not dead, right? Like, Germany did a bit of damage, killed a couple of wheels, but Osman did get a decent trade, killing a lot of Ulans, and he can remass lots of Ashi Nagi, and getting Ashi attack as well in so. Well, it's really hard to, to say who's going to win this, to be honest. It's, it's going to be a close game, I think. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Skirmish is coming forward. Another Vill goes down. But there's a lot of... Uh, there's some Nagi on the side here. Just trying to poke him with the Vills and be annoying and all these good things. Deleting the walls to try and get in here. A couple of clubs go down. Now coming back to work. Yeah, he does need to be careful with his units here. Even giving two clubs is already kind of big. Clubs are really good here. I mean, you know, there's nothing to really block them. So uh, you, you gotta you gotta keep these guys alive. And uh, Japan is gonna need everything he can get to defend this German push because obviously Japan is now gonna ship, I guess, nine Ulans. He's really rehoused, really so I guess it's a nine Ulan shipment because that does take eighteen pop. <laughs> so you need to build two houses just to ship them. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be very interesting. I mean, it it does look kind of okay for Japan at this point. Is he gonna be pushing out though? Feels Couple like more. feels like he should maybe just defend as long as his shrines are not being sieged down too much. He can just sit in base, I think. Yeah, it's got quite a lot of eco, right? He's still quite ahead in eco just because of the shrines and sitting at 180 shrine pop. But uh, second monk just goes down there. The other is sort of back up on his feet, still walking around, going to be placing them down. But uh, not quite as... Uh, going to find it hard to get to 200 shrines pop. Germany is sort of sieging things. But uh, it looks like Black Riders have arrived, and that too takes up a considerable amount of population. Nine times three, in fact. But uh, they are here now. And uh, this is a big moment for Germany. He's got a lot of stuff. Black Riders very, very strong. Oh, now coming Black in. Riders, yeah. Oh, that, that's kind of a surprise to me. But I guess it can... I mean, it's just kind of slow to shoot Black Riders. Usually you want to keep up the pressure against Japan, but I guess... I guess they are very oh! good now. So. Cherry! No! Oh! oh! Oh, Rage Quit from Osman. That's unfortunate. I think this game was rather close here. Uh, I mean, he could have just cancelled his cherry orchards, even just ship five ashes or whatever instead. Just to even if you have no no food in base on your on your orchard, you can still you can still win the fight and then you're okay. But but like yeah, he just shipped them and then deleted them and just just quit. And that's very really unfortunate. I think he was in an okay spot really. I'd like to switch to units lost. Yeah, I think he's just he's just losing like a ton of ills again, and maybe he was worried the 
he just knew the orchards would get shot at or something. Now that and he sees the black riders, this is the first time they walk into his line of sight, and he must have thought, "Oh God, I can't deal with that." Look, there's all this anti-cav. But there's not too many skirmishers, and yeah. uh, he does have a lot of ashes. So the black riders are not super super scary in that regard, and they, uh, well, it's it's really hard to say who would have won that. Uh, but I would have liked Osman to try at least. It's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like he's not but yeah, feeling... well, that makes it 2-0 anyway. Two it's zero. a best of Tabin. five, right? It is a best of five. Tabin looking solid at this point now. King of Osmain uh, not able to pick up the game there and doesn't look like he wants to try either. It's You're not going to win any games with that attitude, Osmain. But, uh, yeah, still addled his units. I'd like to have seen him actually take the fight, but clearly he doesn't think he can win it and uh, chose not to. Let's take a look at villager population. I always like that graph. I don't know why. I'm not even sure if we can see anything on here. Yeah, he did lose a bit too many bills, but, you know, if you just don't die as Japan, and even if you lose, like, four or five bills, but you have almost 200 pop of shrines, and you just can hold, then eventually you're just going to win against Germany, even if you're H2 against H3. So it could have been... Uh, it was definitely worth trying to take that, but yeah. Well, we're just going to go to game three, I guess, which is going to be match point already. Yep. Let's take a look at the highlights of that game, though. And these players' base here, those villages. Let's see if this game, King of Osman, can control them a bit better. Last time, he lost quite a number of villages, and this time, losing two, three already. Oh. And uh, they're going around the market. This is not ideal, but the Japanese Musketeers coming in oh. now. Yeah. And a batch it, of Naginata. Enough, though. That, that's, uh, a, that's a nice trap from, from, from Osman, and there's no real anti-cap here on these Yolans, but he needs to send his Nagis on top of the skirms and not not on the Yolans here. Yeah, trying to do he that now. He has enough anti-cav to deal with Yolans, so he needs to focus his cav on the skirmishers, because now he's just let all the skirms get away. Like, this could have been much better for, for Osman, I think. But I guess it can, I mean, it's just kind of slow to ship Black Raiders. Usually you want to keep up the pressure against Japan, but I guess, I guess they are very oh! good now. So. Cherry, no! Oh! Oh! Oh, Rage Quit from Osman. That's unfortunate. Welcome back, everybody. I don't think King of Osman's overly confident. I think he's got something... I don't think he's feeling it. I don't think he's got something, I should have said. Not that he has got something. I don't think he's got something. He's, he's, something's missing, and that's confidence. Yeah, I think he's just a bit tilted already. Like, game one started rather poorly for him he just was never really able to handle the pressure and it was just not a good game to begin a series with uh for osman and and then the second game i guess he was just really tilted that he popped his orchards like that but yeah yeah not, looks not like really they... at, at the top of his of his shape and the top of his uh, confidence for sure yeah he must be there must be something getting to him but Perhaps he can turn things around. He can still play Japan. He's allowed to do that. But Taben must select a new civilization and has gone with China. Let's see how Osman responds to that. Do you think he might want to continue playing Japan? I think that's the Civ he's most confident with. I mean, you don't just join a clan called Yumi W unless Japan is your main Civ, right? And he's actually the... The, the founder <laughs> of this clan as well. So, okay. yeah. Um, I, I mean, there might be better sips to pick on this map than Japan against China for sure. But he might just keep Japan because it's his main sieve, yeah. Uh, but I, I could see him going maybe auto as well on this map uh, because he's, he's an auto player. Uh, we'll have to see. Because it's, it's kind of like... Um, it's a stagecoach map and some sieves can get away with stage coaching against China because China is not really an H2 sieb. So it's a little bit sad to be going Japan maybe, but we'll have to see. Yeah, well he's not clicked in yet. And he's got a bit of time to think about it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's 2-0 now, so he has to really take his time to uh, pick what's best at this point. But he's going to take it. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, looks like uh, Taben will be playing China versus King of Osman's Japan. 
This is match point for Tabin. He's had two very good games in a row. And he's looking set to get the clean sweep if this continues. It is now the time, King of Osmain, to turn this around and pick up a win. You don't want to go out without one. That would be really sad to get sweeped here. But uh, Baja California is the next map. It is game number three in a best of five series. The winner plays Kinesi, and the winner of that does qualify. Looks like Vividly Plain and uh, Escape AoE uh, currently ahead on the bettings there, followed by apparently myself. Uh, someone's betting as me, are they? I don't know how I'm doing that, but uh, apparently I've got 312 points. Someone must be betting as me in the office because I'm signed in on Twitch there. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, spawning on the right-hand side of the map in the color green, we do have King of Osmain playing as the Japanese here. Gonna slam down that cherry orchard immediately. There are berries, so not gonna be scouting with it today. But uh, it's not got a huge line of sight. Does have his scouts out on the map, comes across 150 coin. And uh, down here, the Inuit scout as well. Might pick up a native scout, but uh, firstly, we'll see him build shrine, I'm sure. His opponent, Taben, playing as the Chinese here, starting with a goat and uh, he is building a trading post, electing to do that with his starting wood out on uh, the middle of the map here. Let's see how this unfolds. Going to be picking up 30 coin in base. Why is he not scouting with the cherry orchard, I suppose? Um, I'm not probably... sure. Where where are his berries? They're not too far. Because you can, you can be like, okay, I don't want to have too much walking time to my berries, so I'm going to just place down my orchard but they're not so far and he's anyway going on the berries so um i don't know why he didn't scout with it maybe just you know i think he's i think he's something i think it's something's up right like he's lost his confidence and his things small things like that are just sort of getting to him and just placing it down without thinking perhaps in frustration or whatever it is that's going through his mind might be that. But, you know, it is only a, a tiny amount of line of sight. It's not overly impactful. And actually having quite a nice age one so far anyway. He's got his 20 coin, 30 coin, and picking up 150 coin there with the two uh, Japanese monks. So nothing to complain about. Going to be quite happy with that. China uh, is also going to be quite pleased as well, though. 95 wood being picked up there. That's a good start. Yeah. And Osman going again for the... Uh consulate in the uh portuguese alliance as well as he probably gonna be uh, i actually don't know if if osman is gonna go for three boats or for the heavenly kami card because three boats is just a really good card and uh i think it's it's usually better than than kami but osman is anyway going for kami because he likes to play uh that way really really greedy just getting like as many shrines as possible and that kind of stuff. Yep, and Heavenly Kami is now in. So that's going to make his shrines cheaper. Clearly not going with the three boats today. Still can get some boats with the Portuguese consulate, though. That is up for grabs. But China, meanwhile, just picked up his native scout there. Let's take a look at the China base. They'll both be aging up um, very shortly. Can, can we have a look at Osman's deck, by the way? I wonder if he's got some boat shipments like in H2. Yeah, he does have five five boats, so we might still see some five boat shipment. Yeah, and two funes as well, so he is prepared to go on water. It must just be a stylistic thing that he prefers Heavenly Kami, despite the power of, obviously, boats here. It's going to take a moment by the looks of it. King of Osmain just right. wants to take a moment. Let's take a look at the... Civ selection screen. We don't want to have the game catch up to real time. Uh, 60 wood treasure, by the way, for Osman. We didn't really talk about that. That's that's a nice pick. Yeah, he's had a pretty good age one. 150 coin as well. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he's not going to be able to use that 150 coin until, until a pretty long time. Uh, but it's Tabin. definitely a nice treasure. <laughs> Tabin's wondering what's going on. Shall we put the sieve selection screen on? We don't want the uh, the delay to run out. Yeah, I guess. I'm asking them in the office, ready? but no one's listening. Yes. Okay, Yumi's back. <laughs> All right. 
Okay, we're back in the game. I'm not sure what happened there. Looks like uh, Osmane had to answer the door or something. Who knows? Yeah. Um. So Tavin, they are both aging at pretty much the same time. Uh, but I don't think Osman is gonna have the ledgers on his wonder, or, or does he? Because Tavin has the standard four wheels, and okay, he's got one wheel on the wonder, so he's gonna just spam lots of shrines now in transition. And uh, I it's gonna be probably just the standard. Chinese FF going quite aggressive, maybe with a forward village uh, and maybe a forward uh, war academy as well, if you can. Uh, and then just trying to pressure really hard in early fortress. While Osman is going to be a little bit slower, or actually quite a bit slower, just because he's going to make so many shrines. Yeah. Tabin stacking two shipments now, which is uh, how that goes, I suppose, when you've got the trading post. And we'll be up to Colonial very, very shortly. Yep. But no forward villages or anything. Just one in base. No, not not yet. But he might he might just do that in transition to uh. to Fortress, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, it, it's still kind of risky because you have like no units and and even if, if Japan is quite slow, he might still get five ashes out or something like that and but yeah, you know, I, I'm just talking about going for a forward, uh, like, base, just because he's walling up again. Like, that's the Osman style. So, you know, you can probably get away with building a front base, even if you have no units at all to defend it. Yeah. Osman now up is going to be adding in those walls. Looks like they tab in. Uh, he sees them with the native scout and uh, pretty good, pretty good cut the unit to get. I guess he expects the wall to go straight across. Uh, but now he's going to see that, and perhaps he'll get into position yep. to block this one. Uh, has not moved just yet. Obviously going to be quite busy at home. He's just aged up 700 coin on the floor. Has been gathering nothing except coin during transition. Uh, pardon me, food. Basically macro to go up to the next stage. And uh, we'll be doing that ASAP here. Naked FF as China. Looks like, though, three boats have come in. From the Portuguese consulate, 600 wood down for Osmain as well, which is going to be really nice to get those shrines. Starting to go up all over the map. And uh, he's going to add in a barracks off that wood as well. Tab in 700 wood following up. The age up has now just gone down. It's going up with the Confucius Academy, so not going to have the wood trickle. Oh, uh, so he's going to age up with his Kamisha Wonder. Yeah. So he plans to be quite aggressive here. Um, and I guess getting the uh, flying crows as well from that wonder is going to help him a lot against walls and maybe flaming arrows if Osman goes to H3. And yeah, he does have that forward village going up now. So he can he can directly ship his eight skirmishers from the age up right into that village and start pressuring Osman as soon as possible. Going to be quite aggressive then, especially with the R8 Archibuca. But not going to have that extra eco behind this. We'll see how that sort of pans out. Looks like, though, 5 Ashigaru is going to take down the Disciple. Not quite fully walled, but uh, should be should be fine. Should have them done by the time that comes out. Let's switch on over to units in queue. War Academy now down. See which army he selects. Um, I don't think he's going to train anything just yet because he kind of has to wait to be H3 to start making uh, good units in his uh, in his war academy. And he has the old hand from the Confucian Academy, which is okay, I guess. And uh, But Tabin is not aging up super early. I feel like China can maybe age up slightly earlier than that, although 752 is, is a decent time. In, but now he's got his eight skirms, and he's probably just go, because you don't expect Japan to really have any naggies out at this point after going so greedy at start. Uh, and he's training the the Cav army, yeah, the uh, Forbidden army. Yeah, what whatever it's called. called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna come in. Exactly you see, you do you see up. the villager? 
And uh, is going to get away. No, it, there is quite a bit of range. But uh, does have two layers of walls up. Thing is, though, this one's not really finished just yet. But does still funnel all the units in from this direction. And uh, can obviously place a wall there. Meteor hammers and iron flails now out. Followed up by five meteor hammers as well. The shipments. And this is looking like a big, big push. Here comes the pressure. China's first shipment. And with the eight Harkabusi air age up as well, it's nice and early. King of Osman going to yeah, have to yeah. really show us he can defend. We don't want to see a repeat of the previous two games. Second layer of wall now down. Yeah, it's going to be very tough for Japan here. I'm not sure I like this age up, to be honest. I feel like if you go that greedy... You probably can't get away with aging up to progress in, in, against China. Like, maybe just spamming units in Colonial could be good enough to defend this push. Like, he could have 10 Nagis, for example, instead of, of aging. And uh, and then I think he could maybe clean up. But, but yeah, he's aging, so it is, it's tough. He's trying to buy time with some minute men. Regulus uh, coming in, though. He's got oh. the TC upgrade. Some oh, villages. So he can maybe catch Tavern of God here, but... I don't know, he's got nothing, to be honest, and he's just resigned. Yeah. Quick nine minute victory coming in there. And Tabin will progress through to play against Kanisi. Uh, Tabin showing us that uh, I think he's ready, or at least uh, King of Osman was not. Yeah, um, Tabin played well, but I mean, this last game is just like. I mean, Tabin just went for the, the typical FF, right? And then he shipped units. It's it's not like he did anything really amazing here. It's just really that I think I think Osman is really tilted, and he he kind of like resigned already. Like you see, he he shipped at least irregulars, but then when you ship that card, you can pop the big minutemen. But he didn't even try to maybe pop them and take a good fight. You know, he just directly resigned. So a uh, little bit unfortunate here. Like, Osman just being maybe a little bit tilted. Yeah, it, I think he's not. I think he's certainly lacking confidence or is tilted or something. Something's not up. The way, you know, not not intending to play the fights out or even sort of really try here. Maybe he just doesn't think he can make it. But uh, Tabin, I think, you know, does certainly deserve a spot versus Kinesi. And that's going to be a really interesting game. They're both, you know, quite two, two very different players, I think. But uh, only one of them can come to the LAN. Tavern stands a good yeah. shot, though. I think there's not that many... There's not that many water maps for Kinesi to do all that well on. So I think... And, and Tavern, you know, as we can see, very strong. In it, it's going to be it's gonna be a close series. Uh, I mean... Yeah, Tavern is a good player. And Kinesi is also a good player. But... I don't know, It's it, without the water maps and without being able to play like Japan and Portuguese twice, it's going to be a little bit harder for Kinesi for sure. But then again, Tavern maybe, we, we'll see if he has enough experience to beat the Kinesi play style. Yeah. Uh, I, I think he, he has met him in the previous tournament and Kinesi won, uh, but Tavern has improved since, so might All go right. differently this time. Let's see how that goes, but... Uh... Up next, we're going to do some community games. We're going to try, and uh, we're going to do some. We're going to do some. Was it regicide? I think Zach and Ham were quite captured with that. Earlier.